the biggest conference on climate change ever in human history ended two days ago and nearly every country in the world has agreed to transition away from fossil fuels which are the main driver of climate change what's important to know is that this is the first time that such an agreement has been reached in over 28 years of international climate policy regulations at least the moving away from fossil fuels part but just like with most policy there are a litter of stupid loopholes that allow the production and consumption of coal, oil, and gas to continue. We must remember that the UN is an international forum for all nations to come together and chat, not a global government. So change, being slow and bureaucratic, is a given. <laughs> I just wonder if they found it ironic that they hosted the UN conference at one of the biggest oil producers globally when this has been the hottest year ever recorded in human history. When it comes down to it, the overwhelming majority of climate scientists agree that burning fossil fuels in particular is driving the Earth's climate to the extreme. The issue with fossil fuels is that they trap the sun's heat. The consequences of continuing to burn oil includes food scarcity, water stress, mass migrations, increased likelihood of wars over resources, and likely the deaths of millions of people due to increased climate disasters and climate disasters of higher magnitude. Not to mention the disruption of the global supply chain that will likely happen as a result of the changing climate. Take Exxon, for example, which is one of the biggest oil companies in the world. Exxon scientists had already, since the 1970s, concluded that continuing to burn fossil fuels would have catastrophic climate effects. So the company continues to promote climate denial, and they question scientific consensus quite often. This here is a graph of the heat trend during November near the Arctic Ocean. This is unheard of. Yet, oil companies continue to question the validity of climate science. They cherry-pick data amplify outlandish opinions, and doubt the foundation of our understanding of the climate system. This is not a misunderstanding, though. Make no mistake. This is a deliberate strategy to deny. And the reason why is because climate change is going to require the globe to confront our global economic structures, which are heavily intertwined with fossil fuel consumption. Oil makes a lot of money. It's a resource that you can dig up, and it doesn't require at least some specialization or advanced spe specific education like with biotechnology or pharmaceuticals. It's such an easy moneymaker resource for a nation that it's almost invaluable to have. As a result of this, the renewable energy transition is going to have to challenge already established power dynamics. And instead of global change, the resistance to this establishes itself as climate denial. It is not just a battle against scientific evidence. It's a struggle against economic interests resisting a necessary transition. And this denial is not just perpetuated by industries. It's also fueled by a lack of understanding. As a society, we need to prioritize environmental knowledge and climate education in all sectors of our public education. How many of you are educated on your local food web or endangered species? Human impacts in your local area are affecting your ecosystem. These are all very important things to know because once you start to look it up, you will very clearly begin to see the effects of climate change in your local area. And it could really be the smallest things that have the impact also. Strands of hair that fall in public areas have been known to tie themselves and get caught on the digits of birds' toes, eventually causing digits to get cut off or amputated off birds. Um, this is a common phenomenon that's now being observed. It's very uncomfortable to face the reality of a different climate that we are now going to be experiencing as a result of a failure of global leadership. We must stop burning fossil fuels. Our children deserve a stable world to live in.